going on ladies this is chris the dating doc and this is some mega fire advice for all of you out there how the environment can shape your dating life and your life overall so the way we're going to break this down is i'm going to go into four four categories here which is your job your friends dating and yourself i'm going to go into the negative examples of that and then positive examples of that and then wrap it up with why it's important to change your environment and how that can affect your partners in your overall dating life. So I'm gonna start off with a story real quick. So um, when I was younger, I grew up listening to a lot of 90s hip hop, mainly like gangster rap was a huge thing back then. And they would always talk about keeping it real, whether it was Ice Cube, Tupac, NWA, right? Ice Cube was part of that, the list goes on. And what I what I basically saw was that keeping it real was not always keeping it right at the end of it. Now, some of the artists that continued to keep it real, they literally stayed in the hood, stayed on drugs, had all kinds of kids out of wedlock, all kinds of um, you know um, child support issues, and owing back taxes, or they got to the point where they did so much, so much, so many drugs that they're no longer the artists they used to be. Now, those that understood their environment, they understand understand the talent that they have, they changed their environment, whether it was the friends they were with, the partners they had, where they lived, uh, emotional, physical, et cetera, et cetera. And um, you saw their lives grow into something strong, even though they weren't keeping it real. So I'll give an example of someone who's degenerated a little bit, right? DX, or I'm sorry, DMX. DX, DMX was a artist I was big into. And again, uh, he was one of those that kept it very real. And now he's a real crackhead, um, unfortunately. He's gotten arrested so many times, um, estranged from his son, all kinds of family issues. And, um, you know, he was revered at the time. But now I'm sure there's a lot of regrets and ways that he could have changed his environment. Um, I'll use a good example, which is LL Cool J and Will Smith. LL Cool J was one of the best battle rappers in the 80s, and he had a resurgence in the 90s and the early 2000s. Got himself way in shape. He looked like a bodybuilder. Uh, he's now an actor, and he will be remembered as one of the greats because he left a legacy by changing his environment. Same thing with Will Smith. We know the story of Will Smith, I'm not gonna repeat it, but someone else that came from being the not so keeping it real type, right? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, some of these corny cornball songs that didn't have any kind of cursing in it, but now he's doing really well for himself. Arguably one of the top five um, action stars. Um, I know for a fact you can say that about 15 years ago he was. So, uh, but we're not going to go into the entanglements drama as well. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the examples of good and bad when it comes to these four categories of your environment and how to change them. So first off, your job. This is where you spend a lot of time at. If you feel like your job is not giving you the creativity you need, um, gossiping coworkers, tired, lazy coworkers that just feel like they're just there for the money, they're, they're really not doing much, um, you're in a bad job. It doesn't matter how much uh, it pays. If you're just in a situation that just feels really stagnant and you don't enjoy going there, you may need to look at changing your environment. This doesn't mean quit your job, but I'm gonna go into some ways for you to take advantage of being alerted to that and how to change it for the better. Second thing is friends. I'm sure some of you have had friends, all they do is they'd rather gossip or they want you to hear their issues, but they really don't have the patience or energy to hear your issues. Those are kind of people that you want to avoid. And again, if you're alert to that, be aware of it and find ways to get them out of your life. Dating, okay, it goes without, without saying, if you're in toxic relationships and you continue to be because the guy looks good, you like the tattoos, you like the scruffy hair, the muscles, but you keep getting yourself in these situations, that is the equivalent of DMX on crack, okay? doesn't matter how 
much you're keeping it real by sharing memes about how you want this hot bad boy, you're lowering the standard of who you are as a person. A good guy, okay, and I mean a good guy as in he's still a freak, he's financially stable, he's fun, he's good looking, he's going to see issues a mile away. He's going to see and feel the energy of the kind of guys you date. And you're not going to long, you're not going to last long with that kind of guy and yourself. If you're at the point where you feel stagnant financially, spiritually, mentally, or physically, make those life changes. You know how to gauge your own body and your own mind. And a lot of us don't do that. We rather would escape and not try to find out, Hey, I really could be in better shape or, you know, I haven't really exercised my brain too much. It's been all Netflix and memes. Maybe I should work on a little bit of self-improvement reading. Just a thought. So I'm now going to go into the the, uh, the Will Smith and El Cool J version of this. What I mean by that is uh, people that have changed your environment and some positive examples. So for your job, if you're at a job that has supportive coworkers, instead of spending all the time gossiping and filing their nails, they want to help you grow as a person. Uh, you're in an environment where you have supervisors that help you out. They're there for you. That's the right kind of environment. Now, it's not going to be perfect. I don't want you to tell me, hey, Chris, you told me that uh, I need to change my envir environment. X, Y, and Z need to happen. Well, you may get X, Y, but you may not get Z. You might get super supportive coworkers, and it takes a year or two to get a really good supervisor. And then you may have B plus coworkers, but have an outstanding supervisor that gives you the time to develop or gives you time to take care of kids, et cetera, et cetera. So don't think that, you know, there's a perfect solution for all this, um, especially if you're kind of one of those um, negative mindset types, which is that's a whole nother video. Friends, if you have friends that want to hear you out, if you're the type that will listen to you, they will be equal active listeners. That means you're able to vent and talk about your problems and they're able to hear you out and respond whether you want an opinion or you don't. At least you know that they're there for you. And again, same thing. You may have some friends that will pick you up if your car is broken down, but they're a chatterbox, so it's not gonna be perfect. But if you know you're in a bad situation when it comes to friendships and your circle, change it up. Uh, dating. Get yourself into better situations. Have patience for that cornball. You, you, the guy who you think is the cornball may actually be the right kind of guy for you. So take a moment to be like, you know what? I've consistently been dating the wrong kind of men, so maybe I should try something different. And if anything, it'll at least be an asthma check. It'll kind of center you to be in the right kind of woman. Because if you keep dating scum, you start smelling like trash. Don't do that, okay? So get yourself into better dating situations. If you know that you can, then there's no reason for you to give a guy who is more quality a chance, even if he may not have all the tats or all the muscles that the last guy did, at least you're putting yourself in a better position. And yourself. Build a momentum to get on a physical, mental, spiritual, emotional kick, okay? Build the kind of habits where you can tell yourself, I'm growing as a person every 2% versus I'm someone who's completing two Netflix series in, in, in a week. Not knocking Netflix because I also watch my shows, but you want to change your environment to become a better person. So what I'm explaining to you, no one else can control. You can't say, oh, men are keeping me down from being a better dater, better person, better friend, or having better friends. This is all up to you. Now, the one that I left out on purpose when it, with my example I just said was jobs, right? Men, they may or may not be able to uh, control your job, promotion, or firing, but you really do still have a lot of power when it comes to that. So you can either control it and tell yourself, you know what, I have some money saved up. I'm going to take the risk because it's important for my brain. So um, keep that in mind, how your environment can change. 
Uh, do you want to be the top dog lady? Do you want to be the one that gets the right kind of guys? Or do you want to be the one that stays stagnant? It's up to you. Do you want to make moves in 2020? Or do you want to blame it on COVID? Use the environment to your advantage and be a better person. If you have questions and you want to book an appointment with me, just drop a like and drop a comment and we'll be in contact. Thank you.